the best I hoped for was to have one child at this late stage in my life. So to have two is more than a dream come true. Archie and Freddie, very different characters. Archie is very driven, but physically. His, his character is summed up by his hair, which is, is wild. Freddie is a thinker. You know, if it's a case of putting a block into a hole, Archie will be there trying to push it through, just brute force. Freddie will come along, he'll look, he'll just take it and just tweak it and push it through. You get a lot of people saying, oh, double trouble, but actually it, it is double the joy. When I met Gavin, very early on, he, he told me he'd had a vasectomy, but he was quite prepared to have that reversed and see where we were. We got married, we didn't get pregnant, um, and because of my age um, and the fact that Gavin had had a, a reversal, we wanted to go and get tested and to see where things lay, basically. So we did that locally at a, a clinic, and, and I was told that my um, quality of the eggs were very, very low, so there was very little chance of getting pregnant, which was the last thing I was expecting, because you, you just expect as a woman to be able to have children. So, and never having been tested before, it was a big shock. I found that probably very, very upsetting. I, I sort of witnessed, understandably, the heartache, the upset, the sorrow. Gavin saw the fertility show being advertised on the Sunday morning. And so we literally got on a train and came to the show that day. Because you put a lot of investment, both financial and, and, and emotional, into doing this, you want to, to actually believe that the person that's treating you and overseeing your treatment believes in it as well. Talking to Amanda and the staff, we just had a faith that these are really good people and they know what they're talking about. They weren't pushy, there were no promises made. It was more a case of, look, this is us. We've had all of this success. I think what blew us away at the seminar was the, the statistics that they were coming out with and the, the research to back it up. And it just made me feel full of hope. And going over to the States, they were nothing but lovely and accommodating. So it's not just going to a sterile clinic at all. It's going to a place that's very warm and caring. There's never a chance through any legal channel that the donor could ever have contact. So you did feel that you got a lot of information about the donor, all of their medical history. You get to see photos of the, the, the donor as a child. You can read about their, their likes and dislikes, what their hobbies are, what their strengths and, and weaknesses are. Uh, there are odd times, like when we were at the counselling, when I, I did feel very upset that they wouldn't be my eggs. They, would they feel like my children, but I carried them for seven and a half months and I fed them and um, I look after them every day. They want me, I am their mummy. So I do feel an amazing connection to them. And I, I heard recently that there's research in Southampton that's saying that they do actually have some DNA from their mother that carries them from the womb. The love that you feel for them is greater than anything that you could imagine. There is hope. You've got to do it with a team uh, that believe that they can achieve a result for you and a team that's going to support you. And we had that from Shady Grove. You know you've given it your best chance if you go to Shady Grove. Yeah.